So now these resistors and connectors are uh, new for me. I just got them in the mail uh, not too long ago. They're six ohm resistors, 50 watts. I wanted uh, higher wattage, lower value uh, resistors. Um, and these are really common. They the resistor comes with the two connectors. I bought 20 sets all at uh, one time. It was a little less than like uh, $25, approximately $25 um, the way that I bought them. So in any case, I figure, uh, you know, a lot of times instead of six ohms, I'm gonna want three ohms of resistance. So for my first project, I will connect these two resistors in parallel. So now we have a uh, little spot there. We can uh, cram the wire through if it's, you know, already all connected up to uh, something. And then uh, we have this uh, little stopper um, right there. Kind of looks like plastic they just forgot to remove, but I believe they actually uh, put that there as a stop, which we're going to use in this video, so I'm not going to alter it. So now I have this all ready, and um, I have done this a couple times before. I don't know the best way to insert this. I kind of think maybe find kind of a blunt uh, tool to press it, but it looks like if you wiggle the wire on there, it uh, will go in uh, not too bad. I don't think we did any damage right there. So now I did make sure that the plastic stop right there is on the far end so we can fish the other wire right there. We just need to uh, cut the wire so this tool will uh, cut it and it will also strip off the end of the insulation. But again, we're not going to uh, strip off the insulation. And you know, I want a fair amount of this red wire right there and we will snip it like that. And now I'm gonna try to keep them lined up like this uh, best we can. And um, so insert that until it hits the uh, stop right there. And I'm gonna try to adjust the other resistor so it's the uh, same length. So I got this pushed all the way to that plastic stop. And this is uh, basically the tool that I see most people use for this. And uh, you can see why that's a good fit. And now I got the uh, tool uh, there. This one, of course, we can slide. Um, but this one, I want to make sure it's butt up against that end right there. Try to get the other one about the uh, same length. Probably want to kind of get them close together. There we go. Now I'm squeezing down uh, pretty hard. And uh, there, we have that in. And I believe you want uh, that completely flush right there. I can probably go down just slightly more. So I think I will, uh, you know, make sure I got her. Damn it, that locked. So... Kind of forgot those locked. I haven't used one of these uh, big pliers before. So yeah, I'm just going to hit a bunch of times. And uh, this is the first time I closed one of these. It seems pretty solid, but uh, yeah, it's not too hard to move. I thought maybe you kind of had to break it with the pliers. Uh, but there we go. One connection. There we go. I think that's what you got to do. Um, two right there to lock it into place. So now I did the same thing on the other side. And uh, this is not flush. It's up a little bit, but uh, I think we'll be okay. And um, so close that all the way. I did try even harder to make that one flush, um, but it was up a little bit. Um, so in any case, there we go. I do uh, think I should have made the wire longer on this side right there, um, but uh, we'll, we'll be okay. This will just get a little bit hotter than it would if I could space them out a little bit more. They'll heat each other up. So here you can see the top wire there is the one that runs through. The bottom one is the one that butted against it. So the long side there is the short side over here, right there. We got that wire. So we're going to transfer, um, you know, power uh, from one wire and then split it up and then I transfer it to the other wire on the other side. So now I'm just measuring a low end resistor that I grabbed out of the kit. So they're six ohm resistors, but uh, from what I read, their tolerance isn't great. It could be off a bit. So that's maybe 10% off there if I'm making a good connection of just uh, one of the resistors. And now I think I have a pretty good uh, connection with the uh, two parallel resistors right there. And you can see we got 3.4 ohms of resistance. So the multimeter is applying a voltage across it just like it was with that one right there. But since there's two paths for current to flow, you actually can get twice as much current uh, through two parallel resistors of the same value as a lone resistor. So for those of you that stuck around, uh, I tried not to talk too much uh, during this about uh, everything, but um, these uh, wires, when they come, 
they did strip them a little bit but did not yank them off uh, completely right there so that's how I measured this one with the multimeter that may have influenced a little bit may have made it a little harder to make contact uh, for these two um, the uh, plastic is off one of them was already off from an earlier video and then the other one I plucked just for the uh, multimeter uh, measurement but yeah the strands are coming loose and stuff um, so that's why you want to leave that insulation on until you have to pull it off of course you can also cut the wire and strip off what you want um, um, but uh, in any case just thought I would mention that and um, so again I ordered these because there's stuff I want to do with low value resistors um, at higher wattages right there and um, so these are commonly available that's the main reason this isn't the resistance I wanted um, but um, since they're so commonly available that makes them cheaper right there if I really wanted a 3 ohm resistor I might have paid you know as much uh, just for that one resistor as the two of them right there just because they're less uh, common and everything and um, so um, a lot of stuff you can buy in bulk but you got to work with the values they give you but you can always like parallel them if you want to lower the resistance or put them in series if you want to raise the resistance and then you also have you know a bunch of other ones um, at uh, in this case 6 ohms right there if you can work with 6 ohms here and there um, so that's why I did that and again this is the first time I bought these resistors and these connectors this is literally the first time I put together these connectors I put together um, some similar ones and um, so I'm not like endorsing them or uh, saying they're bad or anything of course we have that blade it uh, had to cut through the insulation right there and make contact with the wire so you know that seems kind of iffy you know how well it could make a uh, connection but uh, you know a fair number of people that uh, use these and I don't really see videos of them you know failing at doing their job so um, maybe they are a good connector maybe they're a horrible connector I'm not saying that's one another reason why I did this I don't need this for anything um, other than making videos so I can buy you know stuff that um, may not ever I may not ever use for a practical sense but I can test it out with uh, videos and stuff and get a better feel for you know how capable they are um, for my limited uh, testing so again not saying to buy this not saying not to buy them I I don't know it's uh, just something that's commonly available so I want to test it out and also a lot of times I want to make uh, connections um, with uh, different components in parallel and um, so I want to test out all the options right there but in any case thanks for watching make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below they all help a lot I'll see you in the next video